Hello, everyone. This is Charles from Andu. It's my great pleasure to give the keynote about our work to build a fused computing engine with Ray at Ant. Some of you may have heard of Ant Group. Uh, recently, we actually changed the name and logo. And some people are probably more familiar with the brand Anipay. Actually, Anipay is part of Ant Group. The mission of Ant Group is to enable all consumers and small businesses to have equal access to financial and other services through uh, technology. Anipay is a payment service. It already serves 1.3 billion users worldwide. Traditional financial institutes normally serve the top 10 to 20% of consumers or small businesses. Ant Group aims the rest 80%. We call it inclusive services to everybody. For example, for this store shown in the picture, after setting up an account, the business owner can simply use a QR code to receive payments. It just publish a paper of a QR code, and then the user will scan the QR code with the cell phone and pay directly. The, the owner can also enjoy micro loan and other financial services with all of these accounts in a very convenient way. And of course, this has to be driven by big data and AI technologies instead of human beings. So we need to build our computing infrastructure for this. That's very important for Ant Group. Let's take a look at the uh, big data evolution or call it computing evolution. It actually starts from simple online applications. For example, you may want to set up an online service, so you build a web server backed by a database and the business logic, including data computation, runs directly on top of the database. Then you found the data volume is too big. That's why the so-called big data chime in. You will have to do offline computation first then use the result for analytics or push to online system. You want to fully utilize the value of the data for your business. So you might adopt different computing paradigms. Now that, nowadays, they are something like uh, OLAP engine, streaming, graph, deep learning, and more to come. I will give you an example at Andrew. There are 310 known service. 310 aims to provide micro loan services to small businesses in an extremely convenient way. Three minutes to apply, one second to approve, and zero human interventions. This has never happened in traditional financial world. In order to achieve this, we need to verify the identity of the applicant, calculate the credit, and decide whether we should admit the applica ap application or not make the transaction and monitor the credit and so on. Also keeping, make sure the loan will be paid regularly. You can imagine behind the whole procedure, we need lots of machine learning techniques for tasks like KYC, know your customer. We build an enterprise graph to analyze the relationship of every businesses. And we use tens of thousands of models to do real-time anti-fraud. This is just one business example. There are such examples everywhere in our business. So some people might ask, with existing technologies, looks like everything can just work well. So what is the problem? It's just pretty hard to develop. You can see, it normally involves multiple computing paradigms so the engineers need to design with multiple engines and make them coordinate. Due to our large base of users and business requirements, usually we need extreme performance. So people will need to do lots of optimization across multiple compu computing engines. Furthermore, each engine has their own ecosystem, often use different programming languages like uh, Spark will use Scala, like Java, Python, and so on. The barrier is pretty high for developers. Especially for people in 
financial area, and it's difficult to find engineers know both financial and computing technologies very well. So we are facing this uh, se severe problem, and we need to uh, uh, solve this. And that's why we are developing a fusion engine. Basically, use common distributed computing foundation to support various paradigms. It leads simple and universal API with multiple languages support. We want universal task scheduling, state management, error handling, and we want it to be one system to know the developers overhead. So uh, basically, we need a, a common distributed system there and to build all of the computing paradigms on top of that. And that's why uh, the talk here. Re is pretty flexible and we use it as a foundation and we build our framework on top of Re. Here are a few typical field paradigms we have built. They are all launched in production, served at least one round of double 11. Some people, some of you might have Double Eleven is a huge online shopping festival in China held in November 11 with an extremely large amount of traffic. So we use it, we normally use it as a bar to testify new systems launched successfully. First, it's a dynamic real-time graph engine to handle streaming and graph computation together. The system has served multiple rounds of Double Eleven. It does real-time anti-fraud for Huawei with a product like a credit card payment and able to do six hop query within one second on a full transaction graph. We normally use this to prevent uh, fraud. Second is a complex online decision engine handles streaming, MPP, and online serving together. It can do financial network monitoring and routing to uh, payment channel decision and all of those within one second. The third is online machine learning. Right now, the system has been uh, serving quite a few scenarios for intelligent marketing, real-time recommendation, and liquidity prediction. And from online sample generation to model refresh, we can keep the latency within seconds. And here is the overall architecture. We deploy everything on Kubernetes. We provide a distributed computing foundation in our cluster. Then we build a few frameworks on top of Ray to support uh, major scenarios for ungroup businesses. I won't have time to go into details, but you can get a feeling of our stack. Re has become a core part of our whole system and my colleague will talk about more details later. Here are the list of features, functionalities, or libraries we have contributed to Ray. A few to mention. Since Java is very popular inside the company, we build a Java API. For large-scale deployment in production, we actually build the fault-tolerant GCS. And also for performance, uh, especially for streaming performance, we build a worker-to-worker -worker direct transport for it. And some statistics we can see. In total, we contributed around 22% lines of code to read. Initially with Berkeley Red Lab, now with AnyScale, we have been working with the Ray community very closely. I think Ray is a very good foundation for distributed computing. We have invested a lot and we'll keep investing more on this area. If you want to know more about our work on Ray at Andrew, please attend these two talks. The information are listed here. My colleague will talk about the applications and the experience of deploying Ray at Ant in large scale, in very large scale. And the, and the other one will focus on Java API and cross language programming. Yeah, please come to the talk. And that's all my talk. Thank you for, for your attention and enjoy.